All right, this last Sunday, we looked at chapter two of our DFD, Design for Discipleship book, and we looked at a reliable steward, and we, we had a great conversation, and I pray you take the time to look at chapter three uh, this next week and, and grow in your relationship with him. That's the whole point of this, growing in discipleship, following the Lord Jesus Christ. And chapter three is going to be one of the most important chapters we look at. It's going to be, it's talking about helping others find Christ. And so uh, maybe you, you, you have a desire. I think every believer has a desire to get the gospel out. And this is going to be a great help to you. So let's study that this week if you haven't already. And we'll come and talk about it at the 10 o'clock hour, our education hour this next Sunday. Last Sunday uh, for the morning service, the morning meeting, 11 o'clock, we looked at Matthew chapter eight, chapter 9 verses 1 through 8, and we saw man's deepest need and God's greatest achievement, which is forgiveness of sins through faith in Jesus Christ. And what a great conversation we had. And the scribes were a little upset. They kind of were trying to figure things out. It's kind of interesting how the Bible, Matthew, is going to continue to look at these individuals, these antagonists of the scribes and the Pharisees, going to help, uh, help kind of give Jesus a, a bigger declaration of grace and forgiveness and authority uh it, it, all of their attacks are going to be uh turned back at, to show that he in fact came as the fulfiller of the old testament uh messiah and uh he he gives us hope and he gives us of course forgiveness of sins and so next week we're actually we're going to look at matthew chapter 9 verses 9 through 13 and so we saw the scribes last week this week we're going to see the other antagonists the pharisees and i think you're going to be interested to find out uh you're going to you're going to be shocked to find out what that word pharisee means if you don't already know and uh and then how can we avoid being one uh of course you need to put your faith in jesus christ so we're going to see matthew an un unlikely follower of jesus christ and then we're going to see these um really unforgiving uh um, upset pharisees and, and also we're going to look at this story and we're going to see the main point is uh, unmerited favor. And uh, it's going to be a great message. I'm so looking forward to it. I look forward to every message. But you know what I doubt it. I, I think this message is going to be one of the most important messages of Faithway Baptist Church. So I look forward to having uh, having that, that part of worship with you this next Sunday. Then last Sunday night we had, uh, we had a small look in Ephesians chapter 2 and we looked at mainly the effectual working of God's uh, word in the life of those who put their faith in Jesus. So they believe we believe in Jesus, we believe in his word, and his word effectually works in us. It, it, it does what it's supposed to do. And we're going to look at the rest of that this next Sunday night, and I look forward to that. Um, another couple of announcements that we have uh, is this Sunday, after our morning service, uh, we're scheduled to have a baptismal. And I'm like, I, that's always exciting when you get somebody to follow the Lord and believers baptism. Somebody decides to step out by faith and uh, thankful we can help serve them in that area. Uh, that's going to be awesome. And maybe you need to, uh, and you're watching this. Well, call me up and we'll schedule that for this Sunday as well. Um, and we'll talk about baptism. What is it? What is in it? And why do it? And uh, why shouldn't you do it? And uh, we'll look at all of those different aspects together. So that's going to be the Sunday. Then after that, a uh, great time where we're going to celebrate with this individual who's going to follow in the in, in believers baptism there's going to be a quick meeting for all the uh what we used to call ushers we're going to call them hospitality our hospitality team uh we're going to meet with them and then we're asking the couples in our church uh to come and be a part of this hospitality team this frontline ministry that's going to help visitors get acclimated to faithway baptist church it's going to help us in our step in our path uh, to to see to grow people or to see people grow in their their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's part of our mission statement uh, to help others on their faithway journey, to help people in their faithway journey. So whether that's getting saved, showing them the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether that's following Jesus in baptism after salvation, or getting connected in the church in a unique way. And so uh, you're going to be a key help to that. Don't worry. It's not uh, It's not a laborious position, but it is, it is a sacrifice, and God will bless that uh, if you will be a part of that. So if you're uh, you and your wife or you and your husband think that you can get together and serve once a month 
Um, I, I really think this will help Faithway Baptist Church in the long run. So you're going you're gonna to want to be at this meeting at 10 o'clock. And then, of course, April 28th, the last Sunday of this month, we're going to have our bake-off. Uh, not a bake-off, a bake sale. Uh, we're going to be selling a bunch of stuff, and uh, we're going to have a great time raising funds for the youth uh, and the teens uh, camp uh, camping trip up to Wolf Mountain this year. Well, God bless you. I hope to see you. Uh, soon. I'm thankful that we can worship the Lord together on Sundays at Faithway Baptist Church.